ye 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 o are mi ye ye wa se molo re fa This was Coconut. Today is Friday. It's Lover's Day. And you will see a lot of offerings going up to the goddess Oshun. Oshun is an Orisha, which means she's a manifestation of the creator. And it is said that once creation was finished, there was one thing missing, and it was beauty. So Oshun was created to exemplify and personify the beauty that was missing from the world. You will find that Oshun is linked to other goddesses such as Isis, Diana, Venus, and Aphrodite. If you are a non-initiate and you wish to work with the goddess Oshun, what I recommend is that you begin to build a relationship with her. Find out what it is that she likes before you ask for favors. She loves the color yellow. She loves sunflowers and butterflies. She loves tangerines. Her favorite number is number five. I'm going to offer five coins for her today, five nickels to be exact. I have my yellow candle. I have some ground cinnamon, ground pumpkin, and some honey. I decided to work with the ground herbs today because a lot of times I talk about herbs that are fresh or dry and I wanted to give you an option in case you were working with something a little bit um, more affordable you can go to the dollar store and grab these spices for a dollar when you offer Oshun honey it is important that you taste it first because she um, was poisoned almost poisoned at one point so you always have to Get a little bit of it on your finger and taste it. And then you offer the honey to Oshun. Oshun is the goddess of beauty and pleasure and love. And she rules the rivers of abundance. And you would want to come with her um, by giving her a clean space. Beautifying it the best thing you, that you can. You want to offer her praises and songs. And if you saw Beyonce's tribute last year with Lemonade. A lot of people feel that she was definitely channeling the goddess Oshun. In Nigeria, there's a whole ceremony dedicated to her. The women will come and dance in hopes of being named and picked as the daughter of Oshun. She rules fertility, so you can offer gold necklaces. You can offer sparkling wine and yams, cowrie shells in order for her to assist you with your work. When you begin to work with Oshun, it is important that you spend time with her wooing her. So you don't want to be rude because she is very feminine and she doesn't like abrupt energy. So I'm going to show you a very simple work that you can do at your home. Doesn't require a lot of money. I have some tangerines. I have some coins. And you're simply going to Offer this to her without asking for anything. So I already have my orange hair set up. Set up. I have a little bit of cinnamon powder. I'm going to sprinkle around a little bit there with my pumpkin my coins just going to place that in a circular motion around her candle and I have my honey with her because she likes beauty and luxury it is important to offer her the best that you can afford this was made for me and sent to me by a Facebook friend. And before, again, I'm going to taste it. See that? And then I will pour this over the orange. And 
and you don't want to skimp on any offerings to this goddess of beauty. You want to make sure that you come to her with the most humble spirit that you can, offering her as much as you can. Now, with the honey, there's such a beautiful story of Oshun dancing in the river one day, and the interlopers came and saw her, and they captured her, and they brought her to a strange land. And, of course, you know, she was saddened by this because they captured her in her human form, and they took her to the town square in this faraway land, and they tried to get her to perform. And one day a lady came, the lady was dressed in red, and she came and bought her for a few dollars. The lady took her away, and when they got a safe distance away, the lady was revealed to be Shango in disguise. And he took Oshun and bathed her in honey, in so much honey that her skin tone turned to a beautiful brown, deep brown mahogany color. And he just loved her so much. And she became his wife. So that ends my beginning ritual to Oshun. And again, like I said, if you want to begin to work with this particular deity or energy or goddess or Orisha, you want to make sure you come to her with beautiful energy, butterflies, sunflowers, yams, oranges, and anything that you can muster up to give her. Now, you make sure you keep your promises to her and she will do the very best that she can. She cries for humanity, so she will always be by your side. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Om Shreem Breezy. Yeah, 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 oh.